Today we're going to make dots using analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So if I want colors that are analogous with yellow, I'm going to pick colors that are next door or close to it. Three to five colors. So yellow, yellow green, green, blue, that would be a set of analogous colors. Or I could go the other way, yellow, orange, reds, that would be another set of analogous colors. So start by picking out a few colors, both dark and light versions of those colors, of analogous colors. I'm going to start with a light green. It's a yellow green. So if I want yellow green, then I'm going to pick yellow because it's on the other side of it. I'm going to come back and go with a darker green. And maybe even a blue green. And right on into blue. These will be my analogous colors for my dot. I'm going to start with the yellow. If your color looks like it's dirty, and this yellow does, I really don't want any red in mine, so I'm going to take some scrap paper and I'm going to clean it off. Any random scrap from the scrap paper box. And just clean off the junk colors that are already on that oil pastel. Now I'm going to start in the center with a dot. I see I still have some red in there that I missed cleaning off. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I would prefer that it's not there, but it's not the end of the world. I could always just turn my paper over. I'm going to make sure something is under it so I don't get the oil pastel on the table. Since I'm just starting my dot, I think I will just turn it over and start again with the yellow right in the middle. I'm going to go to the next analogous color, which would be light green. I'm going to go right next door. And you see that I'm using wide brush strokes just next to it. I'm going to take that yellow, and this is why some of our yellows are dirty, because they are used for blending. That's how you use oil pastels. You do blend them. They're oily, they're creamy, they like to blend. I'm going to take that lighter yellow and go over the darker color that's green. Even though it's a light green, it's still darker than the yellow. So that will blend it nicely. I'm going to go to that paper that is my clean off paper and clean that yellow off so if someone else is using it later, they're not going to have a mess like I had to work with. All right, and next is the darker green. And I'm letting it get a little bigger because I know I'm gonna use this to blend into my blue-green. which almost looks black, doesn't it? And last but not least, the blue. Now I would really like my colors to blend together a little better than they are. There's a lot of white showing through and it just looks a little streaky. There is, and it's not in the box with all of the other oil pastels. I keep it separate, but once you have your colors together like this, you can get an 
it's called a blender and it's basically a clear color I mean it's hard to tell that it's clear but it really is you can take it and just blend your colors together it will get dirty just like you saw that yellow was dirty and you will want to clean it off and cleaning it off is just coloring it on some scrap paper to get rid of the color that you don't want on there I don't mind that it has green on it because right now all I'm doing is blending it into the darker green so it's not a problem that it has green on I'm gonna blend just one side with my blender and we're gonna look at how one is different from the other the side that was blended will look considerably different from the side that I did not blend you should never be pressing so hard with oil pastels that you have a lot of crumbs you know like you have some cookie crumbs like when you eat cookies you don't want a whole bunch of crumbs I do have some so I know where I have some crumbs like right here clearly I was pressing a little too hard there I have some crumbs developing on my blender and you see how I'm cleaning that off so when I go back in and I've cleaned it off now let's look at the difference one side is still pretty streaked. You got a lot of white showing through. The other side is nicely, smoothly blended. You can do this with a blender. You can do it with a really light color, like the light yellow. You can also do it with white, believe it or not. I'm gonna clean the white off so it doesn't have a lot of other color in, and I'll show you how the white works very much like the blender would work. It does lighten the colors, almost making it ever so slightly like a pastel color, but it will work in the same manner. You can still blend, and you may have wanted for it to get lighter with the white. So we'll take a look at that quickly. It blended it nicely. It gives it a little bit of a cast of kind of dulling down the colors by adding some white to them and making them lighter. And that's your blended dot with analogous colors that live next to each other on the color wheel.